Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, here to continue on my rampage. Now, some of you may think, oh, Pat's got a flea up her nose, and yeah. Well, listen to this. Our national parks now belong to the United Nations. Across this great land, our national parks, wildlands, forests, and lakes are being turned over to UN control. Joseph Urso Jr., a friend of the ministry who hails from Knoxville, Tennessee, recently sent me a photograph of the entrance sign of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Notice the telling phrase on the sign. An International Biosphere Reserve. This means that under the United States Biosphere Treaty, a precious resource owned by American citizens for over 200 years has been turned over to the UN bureaucrats for control. Yes, you and I will continue to pay taxes for the maintenance and upkeep of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, but we no longer own it. Now the UN has ultimate jurisdiction. This alone is startling evidence that the once independent nation state known as the United States of America is going out with a whimper and not a bang. Our sovereignty is coming to an end. As a consequence, across the USA, our parks and wilderness areas are slowly being closed to the public. Roads inside the parks are being grazed over. Mountain passes and hiking paths are being blockaded. No fishing, no hunting, no trespassing signs are being erected everywhere on public lands. Entrance fees are being jacked up 100, even 500 percent higher to keep American families out of their own lands. <laughs> Is that something or what? The UN and its elitist masters don't want you on their property. And in case you do trespass and enter forbidden areas of the pristine UN lands, you might just be shot. Right here in America, y'all. Okay, let me keep reading. <laughs> yeah. U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service agents and park personnel are now taught to love nature's Mother Earth and to despise and loathe human beings. They're being given firearms, instructed to use them. Meanwhile, foreign immigrants from India, China, Pakistan, Bulgaria, Russia, and other nations are being recruited for this National Park Service police duty because, unlike U.S. nationals, non-English speaking foreigners will not hesitate to carry out orders and shoot American citizens intruders. Mm. But even if you're not shot or arrested, there is still a possibility of being bitten or eaten. As my friend Joseph Urso Jr. points out, the feds have been reintroduced, excuse me, reintroducing vicious wolves into Yellowstone National Park and into Great Smoky Mountains National Park. The idea is to put the lives of park visitors in jeopardy and to frighten tourists away. Now, when you hear me ranting about, this is Pat's two cents. When you hear me ranting about this country being sold out from under us to the highest bidder, bit by bit, inch by inch, mile by mile. Am I exaggerating? You really think I'm exaggerating? And you know what we're doing in the meantime? This is what we're doing. Oh, don't I look beautiful? Oh, I got some new weave here and I got some new eyelashes and mm. Yeah, 
I'm going to get my selfie and put it up on Facebook for everybody to share because I just am so cute. That's what we're doing. Or we've got the little games. And we are just totally dummied down and hypnotized by the toys. The toys of confusion. The toys of complacency. In the meantime, our rights are being sold out from under us, taken away word by word, sign by sign, law by law. And our country's being sold out from under us. Cha-ching! It's all about the money, y'all. They will sell you and me down the river to get their agenda going. Whether it's New World Order, whatever it is. The bottom line is something really nasty is going on right up under our noses while we continue to party and play, baby. We want to eat, drink, and be merry. We don't want to pray. We don't want to ask God to intervene. We don't want to take time for that because that's too serious. We want to play. Let's Come on, what's on TV? Let's go to the movies. What are we doing? We are sleeping on the job, y'all. And we're letting it happen. We're not even educating ourselves about what's really going on. I had an internet thing uh, called GMAX. And it blew me away to find out that another country, a couple of other countries own it. I signed up for it. It was American. At least so I thought. Next thing I know, I'm getting all these notices. Don't be surprised if the whole internet gets sold out from under us bit by bit until nothing of it is American. And you think we have restrictions now? Yeah, you wait till that happens. Hmm. Yeah. Christian videos may be a thing of the past or illegal. Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. We really need to pray, you guys. We need to ask God to show us what's in the near future. When you see children in this country now, listen, being forced to take immunization shots, and you look back at the past, at the Tuskegee men, the black men who were shot in their backs, in their spines by scientists financed by the U.S. government to shoot syphilis, full-grown syphilis into their spines so they could just sit and watch how they died. And they thought they were getting inoculate, in, in, inoculated for other reasons. They were lied to and murdered for the sake of science. Black men strategically, scientifically murdered. And how everybody blames Africa for the origin of AIDS. Yeah, I bet you if you dig into that history, you'll find that AIDS was planted in Africa through the medical industry inoculations you better be careful about having your kids inoculated you better be careful about this flu shot and all these other things that are going on we've already just discovered lately about the water sources being selling out to these waste companies that inject the water with fluoride. Fluoride is not there to make your teeth strong, baby. Fluoride is a poison that kills over time. Strategic. There is so much corruption going on here. We've got to turn to God. This is my point. 
when we can't do anything about it, when all the powers that be outpower us, outsource us, outfinance us, we have to go to God. The, that's why the scripture says, whew, in Second Chronicles chapter four, 7, verse 14, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven. I'll forgive their sins and I will heal their land. This land needs healing quick. And if we are not willing to turn back to God and repent with all of our heart. We are pulling the lever that flushes everything down the toilet. And we go with it. You know, I know God will help his own. I know that. But too many people are going to suffer unnecessarily by sleeping on the job. When you could have turned to the God that has control over all of this. But he will not go against choice. We choose to turn a blind eye while they choose to corrupt. That's the choice. That's the gift God gave us was freedom of choice. So if you wonder why a good loving God can stand by and let this stuff happen, it is because that is one of the first gifts after the gift of life. The next gift was the gift of choice. And he freed us to make the choices we make as a human race. What choices are you going to make? Everybody can do a little bit. I'm trying to do a little bit here. Some people can do more because they have connections with the government. But we've got to start doing something to stop this thing from spiraling out of control. Or we all die.